Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about juniors replacing seniors. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, I see software companies tend to replace senior engineers with lower cost younger people that have just graduated and know the state of the is knows the state of the art tech. How can we protect ourselves from this trend? Be better at your job. That's my answer. So this is one of those uh, key things that I, I really truly despise uh, people who think this way. When did it become state of the art tech? Because the point when you found that there's somebody who has just gotten out of school that knows state of the art tech, that's the point that you should have stopped being a software developer. In my opinion, at the very least, or rather, that's that that's the exact moment when you you should have realized that oh shit, I'm behind the times, and it's my job to not be behind the times. But most people who who do this sort of thing, they they don't think that way. I actually I, I actually had a interview uh, the other day with a quote unquote senior software developer. He had more years of experience than I had. Um, but he could, be, and th this is the thing that, th guys, this is a beautiful thing. If you ever get to be a person who is like part of the recruitment processes or anything like that, watch out for this, and you're going to probably see it as well. So, when you ask them a question about literally basic stuff that you would expect even a mid level or maybe in some cases a junior to know, they try to fake that they don't actually know anything. Or rather, they don't know anything, so they try to fake it, and they start talking a lot. Like they just try to give you like evasive answers, or they try to like talk more and more and more because they, I assume, are trying either because they're stressed or more, and also fairly, fairly likely because they're trying to see what resonates with you. If they you they you give them some hint as to what the correct answer is. I mean, I had a guy explain to me. How? Uh, because I asked him, do you have you any? Do you have any experience working with accessibility on the web? And he s tries to pretend like that, like that he has some experience, or like he he basically says that no, not so much. But and then he tries to explain to me how you can perform accessibility with, uh, on the web because you can make the keyboard accessible, you can use some type of audio or something like that. I kind of go in my head, yeah, you you mean a screen reader. Uh, and like, uh, and just he keeps on pushing it right, and so he has become you know even because he's a senior, and I've told some of you guys this as well, guys. Just because a person has senior on their on their CV doesn't mean that they're worth shit. I promise you that's the, uh, not the case. I've interviewed so many seniors who are at a boot camp level understanding. They've just worked for a long time, but they still suck at software development. Like, really suck. To the point where it's embarrassing, in my opinion, that they're using the term. But as, at, at the end of the day, that's the problem with like what is what is a senior person? What, is it just someone who's been working for a long time, or is it someone who actually knows how to do stuff? And so, if you are getting replaced as a quote-unquote senior software developer by junior-level developers, literally out of school, who are so green that they've never even had a job, then you are the motherfucking problem. How do you protect yourself from this trend? Well, uh, let's see here. You study, you continue learning from newsletters, or like you keep up with trends, stuff like that. You tinker with your own small projects and technologies that are sort of relevant. You keep yourself goddamn updated. What do you think you do to protect yourself from this? Like, because guys, no one throws away a very capable, experienced software developer. Guys, I work with people who have who are in their fifties, bordering on retirement age, that run the entire show. Do you think that they're going to be replaced by some person who's never even like committed something? Like, it's not going to happen. No company, no sane company, is going to do that. The only exception to that would have been if you are doing work that is so simple that 
uh, they, they can actually they figured out that yeah we probably just need these juniors or maybe it's that the company is completely uh, oblivious to how to produce software so they hire these inexperienced people and I mean as, as an example let's say that you're working in a small startup agency or something like that where you know they're shipping WordPress sites or something where you don't really need a high-end super senior software developer well then yes you the simple solution is go and work for a company that does actual professional grade software development because based on my experience those sorts of companies they usually don't trade a super senior software developer for a junior to save on cost because it's very rare that they're actually going to make that money back from the lower cost person assuming that the software that, that the senior actually is worthy of the title senior so what I want you to take away from this is that the way you protect yourself from being replaced by a junior software developer is to not suck at your job it's that simple oh and also work for a company that understands that you don't suck at your job because your job is my friend to know IT your job is to know what state-of-the-art tech means your job is to produce results for an IT company in an industry that is continuously moving and if you can be replaced by a person who's right out of college or something like that so it's like this is their first job because they know state-of-the-art tech you have fallen behind the times and that my friend is on you and it's up to you to solve that problem and you solve it very simply it's so easy read newsletters learn new tech and practice it's the same goddamn thing that the juniors are doing have a great day